Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a video for any mamas or dads thinking of going overseas with little ones. So we got back from Europe, we did six weeks away and there was a lot of long flights. So I'm doing this video because I've had so many people ask what were my must haves in my baby bag on the plane. And as you can see, you can hardly close it because there is a lot of things that worked for me and the kids were actually so well behaved and I kept them entertained with majority of the things that I have in here. So I hope this is useful for anyone who's thinking of going on a long flight with little ones. First of all is an iPad. I don't care what any parent says, like no iPads, no technology. You can download great apps like educational ones, puzzles, coloring in. There is so many different apps now for kids and that was a great time saver. And also I pre-downloaded lots of movies. So Netflix and things like that, you can pre-load movies for the kids. So that was number one. Number two, this is this worked for me and Emra. We have the air tags and we just pop this on the kids, like whether that it was on their backpacks or if it was on their clothing, like the little buckle. But this was great because going in and out of airports and stuff, just is a little bit of a peace of mind it's that I could see on my phone where the kids are. We didn't lose a child, thankfully. We still have all three children, but I definitely would recommend air tags. They're great. Snacks. Snacks is a huge one. I got tons of different snacks for the kids. Whenever they got restless, hand them a snack. The planes have food, which is great, but it's good to have little snacks for take off and landing if the kids start to get antsy. I've just had always a ton of things in my bag. This is what I had for Giselle's formula. So I am breastfeeding Giselle, but I was also having top up formula. So this is just one of those little formula holders, which is great because otherwise formula isn't a big tin. So this is great to fit in a smaller bag. Okay, so these were a must. These were amazing. They're suction toys that I just got off Amazon. So it literally could suction onto the window and then Giselle, on my lap could play with it. You could also suction it on like in between the chairs, how it's got like the chair, like little armrest, suction on there and that's sticking down so Giselle could play with it. Gabriel also loved these too. Um, I got a ton of them. I even got like the fidget spinner ones that you just suction on and there you go, it's a toy. I can have some of my food. I can have a second to myself with my hands um, because she's occupied and not throwing the toy on the floor, picking up, throwing it on the toy. So suction toys is a huge one. I had a spare outfit for all the kids. That is a must. You just never know if one of the kids is going to accidentally spill a cup of water on themselves. You need a spare outfit. Giselle, Gabriel and Aaliyah. Nappies and wipes. Pretty obvious, uh, if you run out of wipes and nappies, don't be alarmed because most airlines stock them. On one of the flights, I had like one nappy left and I asked them and they brought me out like three, four nappies, which is amazing. Then I had a toy for each of the kids. Um, I only packed one each because I had the suction toys. So I packed a Barbie for Leah, a car for Gabriel and Giselle a little teddy. So it's all about occupying them when they get over one thing, going on to the next thing. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Play-Doh. This was great. We played a game where who could make the best cake? And then we'd make a cake. Who could make the best snake? Then we'd make a snake. This was great. For all the kids, to, well not Giselle, for Gabriel and Aaliyah. Okay, so this is really awesome. I got this from Amazon as well. Love you, Amazon. Aaliyah was wearing it like a bag. Looks like a little bag, but I'll show you guys what it is. Inside is like an activity little case, I guess. So it has activities in here, paper in here, and then all different colors on the other side. So Gabriel also uses, I used to alternate in between the kids on the flight. It did come with glue and scissors, but I took out the scissors, obviously going through airports, and then the glue, the kids just got too messy. So I took that out and just left the coloring pencils and the paper. 
So that's a really good one. I definitely would recommend it. Just like goes like that and Aaliyah can like, you know, wear it as a bag. What else do I have in here? This bag just never ends. Okay, so obviously I'd have like mask and um, sanitizer. I do wanna show you guys another thing that you get on most flights, which is great because I kept, I kept them because I'm like, these are great for anything. They give it to you when you get on there. It comes with um, nappy cream, a spoon, small little wipes, a little bib, which I did pack a bib, um, but it's not here right now. Bibs are a must. And then this little plastic bag, which I packed my own plastic bags because not only are the kids messy and there's so much rubbish, maybe they might wet their top, you need to take that off. Maybe um, Giselle's nappy and you can't get up because you're landing, you can pop it in a plastic bag. So plastic disposable bags are great. And then this little, little like, um, like a change mat for the bathrooms, but they also do have disposable little change mats in the aeroplane as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it is helpful if you're thinking of traveling with small children. It worked for me. I might've been missing a few things that you guys can recommend to me also. But yeah, I hope it helped. See you guys.